Time for futures in focus. Oil is climbing for a second day as crude breaks free from a record 13-day losing streak. Lots to chat about now with Larry Schober of SFG Alternatives at the CME. First, a more broad question, Larry. What's the chatter down at the CME this morning? We're all about Brexit here in New York and in Westminster. Is that impacting trading today? Well, I think a little bit, especially when you consider that Prime Minister May is receiving it uh, in both ears from everybody. Um, and the fact remains the anti-cyclical nature of the U.S. dollar. We're going to need vulnerability or, I'm sorry, global growth, global stability for the dollar to be vulnerable. So people are really on the sidelines watching and waiting, recognizing that the pound was over up at 1.30 uh, around midnight. All the while, guilt spread uh, steepened, spreads widened, giving a mixed message to a lot of people. Woke up this morning and we're 300 lower. Yes, exactly. There's a lot of movement in rates here in the U.S. as well as elsewhere. How much are people taking notice of what Chairman Powell said yesterday? Yeah, I think they're, they're paying a lot of attention to it, but we're in this, this uh, environment where uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to, to de-risk and was the equities down, rates down, commodities down and safe havens up. And the problem with that, I think the big issue is that there's so many moving pieces and whether it be trade, China growth, Italy budget issues, Brexit, more than one of those has to be resolved before trading gets back to where it needs to be. And right now, none of that's even close to being resolved.